Welcome back on the VST channel. Today is the 13th of June. Tomorrow, Friday, the Euro Championship starts, Euro 2024. So here, the Vivo X100 Ultra and Vivo are sponsoring the championship. What I wanted to show you guys, a short video about the updates here. I'm using my Vivo X100 Ultra since my daily driver to be able to deliver a flawless, a true, and of course, a very honest review my experience with this phone so far i can tell you that this is if not the best right if not the best then in top three cameras put in a phone ever ever not not this year not last year like forever i have of course a feeling that the zoom camera on this baby is perhaps the best tele zoom camera that is ever put in the phone the main camera is also insane guys and you're probably going to be shocked I don't even think it's so much related just to the hardware that of course the Vivo put inside. I do believe it is also related to the processing because the processing is just awesome. And a lot of you guys might not know, there is something called the Vivo Blue Image Chip version 3. Like this thing has been in development for years and is directly related with processing because it's an ISP, like a signal processor for manipulating processing photos and also videos. Now, back on the update topic, guys. I am using my phone with the stable update, all right? So today, I logged in, boom, another update. Like, I got the phone for like two weeks. This is the third update. So, the update is this version here, 14 all 10, 20, you can see it. Optimize the stabilization performance in the 4K 60 FPS video mode to make the overall image more stable and the auto lens smoother. So, I will, of course, test this. Optimize the stability of shooting in stage mode under high temperatures to improve the experience of shooting stage scene. What is this stage mode, guys? I need to share you. I do believe that's important. The standard video zoom in is up to 20x, all right? And if you're disappointed, guys, you can go to more and you can enter the stage mode, right? Choose the video option and then, boom, be able to zoom in 30 times. So this is specifically developed for concerts and etc. And now apparently it's even optimized to work with even higher temperatures because you know how it goes when you go inside some concert room and it's very very, very hot. So, optimize the smoothness of the camera zoom to improve the zoom shooting experience. Uh, this is something I'm gonna for sure test. I'm even gonna test it right now. If I go inside the video, guys, and I share with you uh, really what happens when we try to go through all the cameras, it is not really right now, let's say, the most, the smoothest experience, but it's also not that bad. I just do believe that the issue rather is with changing the lenses, right? Like you can see, it's already not so bad, but it's also not like what we see on the iPhone, which is one of the smoothest transitions ever. Optimize the clarity of photos taken in night to enhance the visual appeal of the photos. Um, this is actually quite amazing, guys, because I've been testing this phone yesterday and it delivers one of the most stunning night shots that I've ever seen on a mobile phone. There are, of course, some tiny flows, but overall the exposure, right? You can see even the sky, no bending, the sharpness of the images, the colors. It's really what your eyes see is what you get here in the image. So then we have optimized the exposure and clarity of photos taken using some third party apps to improve the shooting effect, which is good. Good. I still am not using any third party apps, no Gcam, no open cam, no motion cam, nothing. Right now, still stock. Then there are some pictures for the multimedia, optimized system operating performance and enhanced system stability. This is the system update. When you click here, there's something called a trial version where actually you have access to beta so you can sign up for a closed beta right updates on the os and on the android versions then you can also sign up to the public beta or you can freely download a new trial version so this trial version will give you access to the new features before this stable update right and these things here will probably give you android 15 when it comes in etc so this is going to be a bit more for like better testing i did not install the trial update on a purpose although i have already people reporting to me that the phone is even smoother and i was asking like i mean smoother than what let me show you guys i'm not sure if this can be made smoother it is already very smooth as you can see it is so smooth right but people are saying hey listen you know with this new update it's going to become even more smooth and i was like okay i mean i need to test this one Origin OS 4 is really a very smooth experience for me. Of course, I will 
output and comparison and animation video compared with the S24 Ultra. Maybe I put in also the iPhone, but you can already see it. all the animations. It is just insane how smooth this thing is. And people are saying, hey, you know, it is even smoother than this. And if that's the case, guys, what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to hit the system update. I'm going to apply the update. And in the next few days, I'm going to be testing this update. And of course, I'm going to report back what my findings are. So now let's install the update. All right, I'm already installing this update, so stay tuned. Me discovering all the new features, the optimized photos, which is going to be a hard task because they're already very much optimized. Check the community post and see you here. VSD over. Bye.